What's going to bless our podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Jared. Y'all, today we're going to be doing a video from Anton Daniels. And um, I got to say this. A lot of these women that keep coming out here talking about black men not voting for Kamala, it's kind of becoming tiresome. And I've been hearing about it, and I've decided to cover a couple of them, a couple of his videos. But shout out to this brother. But um, this is the view, and Sonny Holston tries to come for us and listen to this shit. Before I watch President Obama speak, I realize we have not had anyone speak like him since him. <laughs> like yeah. his inspiration, and it goes beyond certain groups. He doesn't just resonate with black men. He resonates with every. He resonates with everyone because he speaks so impassioned. He breaks things down. Racists think- didn't love him too much. Uh, no, he don't, white woman. I'm gonna need you to stay right the fuck over there with your millions of dollars on your TV show and shut the fuck up. Because you don't know us. You got a whole white husband, bitch. You don't know shit about black men. You don't even talk to it. You look... You, when you see black men, you look the other way and you cross the fucking street, bitch. Don't don't sit here and try to tell us that this wannabe Negro is us. Is like us. And resonates with us. No, he ain't. Like, I'm gonna need you to literally sit the fuck down, have several seats, and stay the fuck over there and yo fucking high-priced-ass mansion or wherever the fuck you live... And stay over there with your white husband. Because other than that, bitch, you don't know shit about us. Well, the, um, the, I, I'm not addressing that part. But um, <laughs> in general, I think the thing people need to check in is I know we look at the groups and we, d- we divide everyone. The black community, the oh, yeah. female community, the Latina community. None of that ever works with me because I've never been a strategist. So when you look at those numbers, I get on the aggregate. It can speak to the needs of certain communities. But in general, I think integrity doesn't have a sex, a gender, a race. Character doesn't have it. Goodness doesn't have it. So specifically in this election, when people are trying to look for what they want, I would say when someone's making big decisions about our lives, which one has a good heart? Because I don't care what experience a heart has. I don't care. You could put me in as president tomorrow, and I promise I would offend some people, but I would never lose sight of what mattered mm-hmm. because I have a good heart. And there is a good heart in this election. Mm-hmm. And that's what I would say people need to vote for. Well, good, yeah. good luck. Well, hold on. Before all of the hyenas start clapping and applauding, let me correct her on one thing. <laughs> we don't, we as black men, we don't care nothing about what Obama thinks. What makes y'all think that Obama is our messiah? I think that that's where y'all get it wrong is that y'all think that Obama, for some reason, speak for us. No, Obama speaks for him, his family, his wife, and for the Democratic Party that believe in him and look at him as a messiah. We don't care nothing about what Obama think because Obama ain't connected enough to be able to make a decision and tell us what we supposed to do because we don't owe Obama no money. We don't owe him nothing. Obama got rich off hope. That's what he sold y'all. He sold y'all hope. And now he trying to be a simp and lean into this feminist movement and agenda to try to tell us what we supposed to do. And that's where we start to cut Obama off because we had respect for him a little bit before we voted for him. And so we realized that he left us with this uh, disingenuous agenda that more or less suited the alphabet community. But we don't have the same affinity for Obama like y'all think that we do. So let's be clear. He means something to y'all. We respect him as a human, but we don't respect the way he talking to us like we, like, you know what I'm saying? Like we owe him something. We absolutely don't. And let's be clear. I do not believe even for one second that Kamala Harris or Obama and their supposed uh, character is even remotely good enough to speak to us because, listen, we look at everything as an action. That's how men instinctively, masculine men instinctively think. We look at love as us being able to flip on that light switch because we had to go and trade in our time for money and then our money for resources in order to make sure that we take care of you. And so we sacrifice on your behalf. So our communication to love of love for you is how we then make sure that we take care of you. You see how that means something? Now, let me tie it back into the Democratic Party. They can tell you what they want. But their actions speak otherwise. And the fact that they keep on leaning into emotion to get us to vote for them 
And we finally woke up and in mass, we're saying, listen, we're not necessarily aligning ourselves with the Democratic Party anymore because what they say versus what they leave us with is two different things. You don't love me unless you enable me to be able to get some money to take care of my family. And I'm not talking about a handout. I'm talking about getting out of my way so I can do what I need to do. You don't love me if you align with the alphabet community and national landmark agenda, but now you want to start speaking to black men because we finally said that we're not aligning with you and it's swinging in the way of Trump. I'm going to go over Kamala Harris's economic agenda all of a sudden for black men that just came out of the blue after Obama blundered. But like I said, these women know nothing about us. And so for these people to be speaking on our behalf instead of asking us what we think, because they tried to shut us up for a long time. Don't worry. We're going to get we're going to get into that in a future video. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Listen to all of these hyenas talking. The guy comes out, the guy comes out of basically he's retired. I mean, he doesn't no, really. He's not. Well, whatever. They're he's producing movies. They're a, winning. They're okay, winning. I, I mean, from politics. Means. And you know what I mean. Stop pretending that you don't know what I mean. <laughs> The guy comes out of retirement for politics because he knows the dire straits that we are in if this man wins this election. Yeah. Basically, it's incompetence and racism on one side, yes. incompetence on the other side, and somebody, a woman, she happens to be a woman. I keep saying, if she were a man, this would be a shoe in And well, think about it, not, there's not a single former Republican <clears throat> president or nominee out there for Donald Trump because they hate him. And where is W? <laughs> he needs to come out. I'm making a plea to George for Kamala. W. Bush. Yeah, for it, Kamala, it would yes, be nice. for Kamala. Go ahead, get George Dub. He was worse than Obama. It's George, George Dub the second, the, the, the son, he was the worst president of our lifetime. The worst thing that y'all could be doing is continuing to put out these corpses. I seen Bill Clinton uh, say Lake and Riley's name, and he basically, I think that Biden and Clinton hate Kamala Harris, and I think that Obama, Biden, and Clinton is all trying to torpedo her campaign because everything they're doing is in an opposite direction. Every time they open up their mouth, it makes us want, want more and more to vote for Trump. Go ahead. Get George Dub on there, too. We can get a fourplex. Also, if you think about it like this, they had to basically force Obama to come out. He didn't just start doing this shit willingly. Like, if you really look at if you really look at what happened a couple weeks ago, they literally put out an article saying oh, President Obama is not endorsing Kamala Harris. Matter of fact, let me pull it up. Let me yeah, let me pull it up. President Obama not endorsing Kamala Harris. Matter of fact, not weeks ago. Wife, hold up, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute now. Damn you, sons, bitches, New York Times. Hold up. Right here, Economic Times. Why President Obama didn't endorse Kamala Harris as the next U.S. president. This was in June. Shut the fuck up. Hell. Former President uh former President Barack Obama has not yet endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris for the US presidential race. According to a source close to the Biden uh Biden family, Obama's has reservations about Kamala's uh, Kamala Harris's ability to defend Republic to defeat Republican candidate Donald Trump. Obama's very upset because he knows she can't win. The source says to the New York Post. So you telling me that this Negro just automatically come out and says this bullshit about black men, but then back in June, no July, this nigga didn't even this nigga didn't even fucking endorse this broad. That was less than three months ago. He didn't even endorse her. Now he coming out swinging and talking about brothers, y'all gotta get y'all gotta go vote for her. This nigga didn't even endorse her. They had to literally post articles about this shit. Look at this. I ain't bullshitting. This, okay. This was in this uh, New York Times. This was July 26th. To, uh, July 25th. July. Hold up. July 26th, they endorsed her. Right after the New York Times came out. This is July 21st, July 24th, July 24th, July 25th, July 26th, they endorsed her. So, all of this shit, now he, 
And the, the fact of the matter is that right here set a source close to the Biden Harris. According to a source close to the Bi to the Biden family, Obama has reservations about Harris's ability to defeat Republican candidate Donald Trump. Obama's very upset because he knows she can't win. The source told the New York Post. So you telling me all of a sudden he got a full blown battery in her in his back coming out and saying all this shit. Biden coming out against her in some aspects and the way she's doing things. And on top of that, <laughs> they know she can't win. Like, literally, think about it. Somebody else... Oh, shit. Let me see something. Somebody else said it. Let me see something. Hold on. Let me, let me go to my... Let me go to my... Uh, let me let me go to my... Uh, go to my history. Hold on, let me not fucking fuck up that. Let me go to my history. I'm doing everything but what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Let me go to my history. When by when Obama said this shit, let me see something. Obama speech to black men. When Obama said, when Obama came out and said this shit, what is it? At? Matter of fact, right here. I'm going to go on ahead and, and just say some, this speak some truth, saying. if you don't mind. Please. Because my understanding, based on, on reports I'm getting from campaigns and communities, is that um, we have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. Now, I also want to say that that seems to be more pronounced with the brothers. So if you don't mind, just for a second, I'm going to speak to y'all directly. And now that I'm looking at this video again, I want you to look at real, real closely at the way that he's trying to speak. Now, keep in mind, in July, he didn't endorse her. They had to basically post articles about why he hasn't endorsed her. But look at this. I'm going to go on ahead and, and just say, look at the way some, he's, he's speak some truths, truth. if you don't mind. Please. Because my understanding based on reports I'm getting from campaigns and communities is that um, we have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw. Now, he's talking about all of this stuff, about all the neighborhoods and quarters that they're not seeing etiquette uh, accurate um they aren't seeing a good enough turnout for her he's sitting here trying to make he's sitting here trying to make a point make it seem like he's very angry at us but i'm just going to just put a little thought out there to you brothers but now keep in mind i'm not defending this negro okay i'm not defending this this kenyan negro that was raised by a white woman i'm not i'm not defending this negro i'm simply stating a point of observation that I've seen. Now he's trying to sit here and walk around the damn subject and shit. Look at him, just just watch him. He's like he's looking at everybody, look at the face, looking down, trying to think. This man knows this whole this woman ain't gonna win. This man knows that this woman is not gonna win. He's looking down. He's trying to come up 
with a with a talking point that doesn't seem stupid. But this man knows. This man know this woman don't they ain't gonna win. This woman don't even want this woman to win. He knows he knows what's going on. Come on, man. Barack Obama, you really think Obama's that crazy, that dumb to actually believe that this woman can win a presidency and this woman has no, has nothing to literally <laughs> offer anybody other than some bullshit? You really think he don't understand? This man no, this man got his hand, he's got his damn hand in the cookie jar so far. He knows what's going on. He know that these women ain't about to win. He knew that shit when Biden was when Biden's numbers was going down that she wasn't definitely gonna win. They they threw the that I'm gonna tell you something, and this is what I believe. They about to throw this election because they know that brought they know that woman can't do shit without a damn teleprompter or a damn earpiece in her damn ear or her husband telling her what to do. She has no, she has, she's a political figurehead. Biden threw, Biden threw the wrench in the gears when he said that he was going to be running for president for a second term. Because originally he said that he wasn't going to run again. He was just going to run just so that Trump didn't win. Then his health, his mental health state started declining when, while he was on the campaign trail, even worse than what it was, even worse. And then he says, I'm pulling out. And he didn't even immediately endorse Kamala. So if you really look at it, these motherfuckers is only behind her because they just want, they don't want, they don't want to seem like they don't even like her. But they don't like her ass. They don't like her ass in no way. They know that she's not going to win. They about to throw this motherfucking election. They know she ain't worth a damn. And they know they just they just say, you know what? We fucked up so bad to the point where we're going to try to just throw every damn book into the fire. To see if some see if we can at least pull something out of our ass. And we'll and we'll uh we'll um use her as a political puppet and we run things from behind the scenes. I mean, if you want me to be completely honest, it seems the most likely that that's what they're planning on doing. A fourplex, put them all in houses and get them blankies for each other. You know, I, I think what Elizabeth I think it was Elizabeth Warren, correct me if I'm wrong, when she, when she was here, or, or someone said, you know. You don't, you don't have to vote for Kamala because she's a woman. Yes. <coughs> but don't no. vote against her because mm. she's a woman. Yes. And I think that that should be a resounding, resounding that. message. It's an unconscious thing. That was Pelosi. Thing. That was Nancy Pelosi. And, and, and I think that that's just a really important point. And, and, I, and, and, and I, Sarah, you, you, you are sunshine and, 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 and unicorns and, 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 and puppy dog tails, and that's great. But, you know, we can't pull people's hearts. And we can't see into people's hearts. And so... When we're looking at these polls and we're looking at who is voting for Trump, you've got 53% of white women that voted for him in 2020. We've got to reach those women. We've got to reach those ridiculous, crazy black men that did vote for Trump. We've got to reach... See that? You see that? That's why we don't fuck with y'all. Real talk. You disrespect us at every single turn. First, by slotting us, and then... By saying that, what you let me just play again what she said so y'all can understand what, what we talking about and why we don't fuck with y'all no more. Um, you've got 53% of white women that voted for him in 2020. We've got to reach those women. We've got to reach those ridiculous, crazy black men that did vote for Trump. Ridiculous, crazy black men. Ridiculous. Think about what she just said. Ridiculous, crazy black men. So if our economic agenda... And what we identify as leadership and the policies that's being proposed and the history behind who did the best and while they were office is not, it doesn't suffice. Now we ridiculous, crazy black men. See how y'all sound? You see how stupid y'all sound? 
and why we then revolt. So don't. You know what gets me? And I know I shouldn't be. I know I shouldn't be surprised by this. But what gets me is these people literally insult the people that they're trying to get to vote for their candidate. So you insult the people that you're trying to get that you're trying to get to vote for your candidate by saying that they're stupid. Meanwhile, you need those very same people to get your candidate voted in. Then when your candidate don't get voted in, then you're going to be mad as shit. Angry. And then you're going to be over here looking around like, why didn't you vote for her? Hey, excuse the fuck out of me. Hey, who the fuck you think you is? And the problem is a lot of these people always want to blame the black man. I don't understand. I, I really, for the life of me, I am trying to understand people. I'm really trying to understand. You want us to vote, but then you want to continue to doggone put your foot on a motherfucking neck because you feel like you can. Now that the rabbit got the fucking gun, now you over here mad as a son bitch out of damn prison. Because you can't get the man, the men, to fall in line with y'all goofy ass. Now you big mad. Oh, she big mad, she big mad, she big mad. Yeah, we, yeah, you big mad, all right. Don't sit here and have a conversation with us because... Even as insulting as y'all are, and as much as y'all throw ad hominem attacks when y'all can't have y'all way because y'all panicking, because you know you're about to lose this election, even when you can't ha have your way, you know what you do? You insult people, and you start to throw temper tantrums when it's not working out in your behalf. Ridiculous, crazy black men that voted for Trump the first... Well, I guess I'm going to be ridiculous and crazy the second time around. Because in everything that y'all have done, all y'all have been doing is creating more division, more hate, and more destruction in the path, respectfully, and y'all started it first. And y'all can't wait to try to shut us up and tell us to get on board and get on point. We don't follow y'all. We march to the beat of our own drum. And the minute that y'all start to understand and listen to understand instead, instead of listening to respond, you're not going to shame us into doing what you want us to do. That's not even your superpower as a woman. And so I encourage every single man, every single man, not just black man, not Hispanic, Latino, white, whatever. Every single man, I say, come together, inform yourself, arm yourself and vote. I'm not even going to tell you how to vote because I respect you. But what I am going to tell you is that I expect for you to vote making an informed decision on what's best for your family, not based off of what Sonny is saying. Fuck what Sonny talking about and all the rest of these women on The View. Y'all make sure y'all tap into the Patreon link is in the description. Also, teach Hanley 40% off your first order plus 20% off a of life. Yeah, shout out to Anton. Now, I'm going to say this. Again, I'm not a political channel. I don't say, I don't claim to be. I'm not, okay? But... Everything that Anton just said is right. I don't agree on a lot of shit that Anton says. On some things we disagree on. But about this stuff, he's right. And the thing is, is like a lot of these people, they're trying to get us to vote. But yet they want to continue to insult us at the same damn time and then be mad when we fucking revolt. If you don't want us to revolt, stop saying stupid shit. Simple as that. I don't know, guys. It, it's 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 become old, tiresome, and the, and they just don't realize that men are just men are just sick of this shit. <sighs> Anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel support, the podcast, and support when I come. I will catch you guys on the flip side, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.